Hello, this is Keith All, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how we could uh, place an image into a piece of folded fabric in Photoshop. So basically, I have an image of a piece of fabric, and it's folded up, as you can see by these creases. Now we, we're going to select another image, and we're going to place it on top of that, and we're going to create the effect that this image of this Rubik's Cube was actually printed on this piece of fabric and the fabric was folded up. So let's see how we could do this. So let's go over to a new canvas. I already have the fabric image uh, loaded up. Let's bring in the other image. I'm just going to go to my file explorer. I already have it selected. So I'm going to click and drag and drop it right on top of here. And now the, the transform tool is already open. So I'm going to use uh, shift alt and then click and drag the corner. So it fits right o over the image. Now I'm going to press enter to apply those changes. Now I'm going to bring this image of this Rubik's Cube below the background image. Let's first, we first have to um, unlock it. Now click and drag and bring it below. Now let's select the fabric uh, image layer. Let's go over here to the blending options and let's select hard light. Now we don't want this red color, so we're going to desaturate it. So we're going to go up to Edit or Image Adjustments and then Desaturate. So now that we did that, now let's turn off the image layer of the Rubik's Cube. So let's select that layer. Let's turn that off. And now we want to blur this piece of fabric just a bit. So we go up to, let's select that layer. Let's, let's go up to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. And you can play around with the amount of pixels that gets uh, blurred. So if you want to increase it, you can. It gets really blurry. But let's uh, keep it at the low end. I'm going to ju just shoot shoot for 1.6 click OK now what we want to do is we want to save this this is going to be a, like a displacement map so we go up to file save as and then we're going to save it as a PSD file I'm just going to override or overwrite my existing file select save yes to replace it click ok now what we want to do is we want to undo this blur you could press Control z or edit step backwards now we want to turn this layer back on okay now what we want to do is we want to make this look like this image was actually printed on this piece of fabric so we do that by selecting that layer coming up to um, filter distort and displace and I'm going to keep it as 20 here for the horizontal scale and 20 for the vertical scale again this is something you could play around with to see what type of effect that you want. We're going to select stretch to fit for the displacement map and under the undefined areas we're going to select wrap around. We're going to click OK and we're going to select that displacement map file that we just created. Click open and as you can see what it does it looks like now the image of that Rubik's Cube was actually printed on this piece of fabric and it was folded up and someone took a picture of it. 
So this is a really neat effect that you could uh, 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 work into your current projects. Hopefully it was helpful for you today. Uh, remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And click on that bell notification so you always get updated when I have a new video uploaded. And also please like, share, and comment. I appreciate it. I appreciate your support. And thanks again for stopping by today. You have a great day, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye now.